this video is uh, about just who we are, what we're doing, and we're kind of going to do uh, just a, a review of what we've done so far. Okay. Now, my name is Brian. Most of y'all, our current subscribers, know who we are. I'm Brian, <laughs> and this is Deanne. That's the B and the D. Um, and who we are, we're married. We've been married for well over 32 years now. I uh, haven't regretted a minute of it. Been very happy together. Um, she gets mad at me when I say this, but over 32, we just passed our 33rd anniversary of our first date. She gets mad at me and says, we still never had an argument, <laughs> ever. So uh, it might be just because she's got a great personality and puts up with my, you know, crap. And we'll go with that. Okay. But uh, we met in high school. It was toward the end of my senior year. She was a junior. Um, and despite what everybody knows about us in these videos, I was the quiet one. <laughs> She actually asked me out on our first date. <laughs> I was nervous and working my way up to it when she just popped it out. Hey, you want to go out? You know, so, uh, okay, cool. Um, so anyway, that was, that was fun and wonderful. And then uh, we got married the next year and we had our family, uh, our two boys. Um, now, who am I? I? I've done a lot of things, uh, whatever. Starting with when I was nine years old, I got saved and went into uh, ministry work with my mom and dad and my aunt and uncle in our band, Jacob's Vision, which that band still exists, but not in the same way that it was, okay? But we did that for a long time. We used to travel a lot. We had the tour bus and did the, the whole nine yards. Um, it was a lot of fun. And my cousin Shane, he was, he was our drummer for a while too. Um, but that was more traditional gospel music back in the day. And then we, we, we went through a lot of changes musically uh, to what we are now. Not going to get into that now, but we're very proud of where God's brought us. Uh, Deanne, uh, you, uh, when did you get saved? It was probably about nine, maybe ten. Okay, don't know exactly. No. And then we just, got... Just started, I started in a band and... Middle school and then went through, through high school and stuff. She was a... a started out, out in percussion, percussion and then went to Color Guard. Color Guard. And then after we got married, she joined the band as our bass player because we needed one. Because yeah. bass players are hard to keep. <laughs> drummers are hard to keep. Anybody else, you know, pretty much is in the band, but drummers and, and bass players family. are... <laughs> yeah, plus having in the family, we, we know what her schedule is and she can't say I was busy that day. Um, <laughs> now to what we're doing with our videos now. If you go back and watch our very first videos from just over a year ago, because we it's just over a year, I think, when we yeah. started our YouTube channel. Um, what happened was uh, COVID, when it hit, uh, we had a church in Bristol. My dad's our pastor. Uh, but COVID shut down everything, period. Um, but then when all those sanctions lifted, uh, well, let's just say while those sanctions were going on, Dad wanted to keep his ministry going. So what he did, he started filming his uh, sermons uh, from his house. But he needed some background. He just got tired of shooting in front of you know, his living room or his office or, or just whatever, his desk. Uh, so he got a green screen and started just getting um, nature shots and stuff off YouTube. Well, we thought we would get him ours and that would be better than any type of possible copyright thing from somebody else's work. So Deanne and I didn't know the first thing about shooting a video. Still not great at it. Okay. But, uh, we, we started going out and just like we started with the green belt and King sport, walking that and getting flower shots, waterfall, the creeks, the rivers, everything. We didn't talk much in those, or really at all. If you hear any talking in that, it's just accident. Now she started adding music a little bit later. And then at the first of this year, uh, that's when we changed our format a little bit. We wanted to add to that. So if you're still seeing uh, those nature videos, especially the ones she puts up that says raw footage, those are specifically for my dad to use. Anybody else can watch them and enjoy them all you want to, because we do a lot of work climbing and getting out in the <laughs> woods to where we're going. <laughs> Yeah. to get these things and bears and snakes and everything else. Uh, but we enjoy doing that. But this year we started doing where we would talk more in the videos. Well, 
I talk more. She's she's still working on it. Kind of make them informative hikes, I guess. Yeah, informative because we're beginner hikers. We're not experienced hikers, and what we see in the in some of these places is the first time, and we're looking at it from the viewpoint of a beginner. And if you guys wanted to go do it yourselves, you could at least sort of be prepared for what to look for. That's why I'm pointing in some of our videos and saying, "Hey, what to watch for here." Uh, how the trail signs work just a little bit and I'm still learning that myself yeah. so but and then on top of that we started doing uh, cooking videos here because I love to cook I've cooked <laughs> as long as I can remember even when I was little I'd be standing beside mom in the kitchen watching her cook every little thing and trying mm -hmm. to help out where I could I just have an obsession with with cooking food always have um and when we got married, Deanne made a deal with me because she hadn't learned a lot yet about cooking. She said, if I would do the cooking, she'd do the cleaning. Well, to me, that was the greatest idea ever because I hate cleaning. And she's really good at that. But now she has learned to cook and now she's really accomplished, even though she doesn't show you guys a lot of that in her videos. She's oh, yeah. <laughs> really, she's really good. Really good. Other things we started doing, we've seen other people do like um, restaurant reviews or new food at some of the fast food places. So we started adding that in. Uh, product reviews like uh, the, the soda thing and some of the other things that, that you guys have seen. Um, and that was what we expanded on this year. So I uh, wanna do a quick review of what we, what we think we liked and disliked this year. Deanne. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll start with the hiking. Okay. What was your, what's your favorite hiking place all time or from this year last year anything what is your favorite place that we've hiked probably carver's gap because of the, the views and we've been there at different times of the day and seen seen different weather pretty much all of it except for snow which we're not doing that oh no i'm not going to find snow that's dangerous <laughs> um no. i agree carver's gap is by far our favorite place to go there's not even a close second even though we go other other trails other places yeah. and seen many great things um Carver's Gap, you can go as far on the Appalachian Trail as you want to go through there and get views that are amazing. You can burn up and freeze to death <laughs> within minutes of each other up there. Yeah. I mean, it's <clears throat> it can be blazing sun and then the clouds come from nowhere. Or pouring rain for about five seconds and it goes away. It's <laughs> People talk about the Tennessee weather. You've not seen weird weather and how fast it can change till you've been up in the real high mountains i promise mm -hmm. you you are above the clouds and then they come up out of nowhere and you're in the clouds and it can be freezing cold wet and then hot and dry and it's not fast. super hard to, to walk it either no no carver's gap is a wonderful wonderful easy hike i mean there's some elevation changes you start out at a mile high i mean over oh, it's like 5200 whatever it Something is like that. Uh, just over a mile high, and it uh, <clears throat> it goes up from there several hundred feet. It's great. You can feel it. And in our earlier videos where we, there was no music, you hear me, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, because it's not that I'm that far out of shape because I do a lot of cardio, but um, the, the oxygen, oxygen. Yeah, oxygen. The oxygen is a thing. Deanne, okay, moving on, your least favorite hike this year. Probably... Laurel Falls and Hampton, mainly because of the distance. We wasn't prepared for the distance. No, that hike was, uh, we were not ready for that There one. were some very dangerous spots that we've encountered. At. Us being inexperienced and not used to that. We went earlier in the year to avoid uh, rattlesnakes and stuff because that place, I've been told, there's rattlesnakes everywhere. Because there's places you got to grab rocks and you can't see what's you in there. You have the, no idea where you're grabbing. <laughs> so we wanted to beat it where the weather was a little bit cooler still. So we went out there. Um, that was the longest hike we've done so far. Yeah. It was over four hours. We were very tired. I mean, it got back to the car, everything hurts. And then luckily, as soon as we got back to the car, about five minutes later, a thunderstorm hit and we were just making for the <laughs> closest place to pull off the road, which is McDonald's up in Hampton. And hallelujah, it was there and we could eat and dry. Yeah. Um, that's her least favorite. Um, Mine's a two-way tie. Is that <laughs> one simply because of what it is? And Marguerite Falls or Margaret or whatever you want to call it in Greenville, it's nowhere near as far. But the rocks, the rock scramble, I guess is what hikers call it. You're just going over these big rocks, 
you don't know what's under you, what's around you. And twist an ankle. Twist an ankle really, really bad or yeah. break a leg and fall and you're you're stuck. Okay. That but, but now <laughs> comes the next part of this. The while <laughs> we go out there and shooting these videos. Mm -hmm. The end. <laughs> what's your favorite video you've shot? Lower Falls in Hampton. Cause it's that's the funny a, part because it's a very it's a big waterfall it's very re it's rewarding big, it's, it's, if you get there it's worth the effort if you can get there if you can get there and, and <laughs> not get snake bit or fall off a cliff or into the river or down a mountain of rocks yeah it's, it's a beautiful view though yeah the appalachian trail goes through part of that a little bit a lot of places we're going we're, we're jumping on and off the appalachian trail <laughs> yeah. a lot uh which is fine. You meet these the, the through hikers that are coming up from Georgia to Maine. And if y'all didn't know, and most of our people probably don't know that, these folks will start in March down in, I don't even know where it's at, uh, northern Georgia. <laughs> and they make their way through the mountains up through North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, all the way to Pennsylvania, and up to, into Maine. And then there's a big mountain up there, and I can't pronounce it. It starts with a K, I think. Um, and they climb that mountain and that's the end. But it takes like four and five months for these people to do it. And they just sleep out in the, whatever they've got their gear. And it's, it's amazing thing to what these people go through. Uh, <clears throat> I guess, you know, whatever, good for them. Mm -hmm. The Appalachian trail is fun. Okay. It's a, uh, it's favorite video shot for DN was Laurel. Mine, I don't even know if it's been posted yet, but it will. Uh, last week after Carver's Gap, we decided to go over to the Watauga Dam and the Watauga River um, near Elizabethan and the, the shots that morning or afternoon rather were beautiful. Uh, I don't know how well mm -hmm. they'll translate. They didn't look as good on the camera as what I was seeing it by my naked eye, but wow, to be there and the sun, the sun shining exactly the way it was, that, that blew my mind. Okay. Uh, moving on, uh, favorite restaurant uh, or you know the food that we've had out. Deanne, you can go first. Uh, probably that Cajun place, I guess. Okay, this is when we were on vacation in mm -hmm. Panama City, Florida. Um, yeah, that it, that D A T Cajun place. There is a review we've got on it. The food is just. It's got a huge menu. It's, yeah, it's a big menu, and I get the same thing just about every time I've been there. It's this this. Uh, fried chicken with this creamy andouille sausage gravy. It's just, it's just great. Um, my favorite, and it was a surprise because it shouldn't have been, <laughs> was this Troyer's hamburger review we did. And it's, it's just spontaneous and we did it. We went in there to get a gallon of milk and I, and we were kind of hungry and didn't want to wait to get back to you know anywhere else. And I said, well, we'll try the burger and she got a, a turkey sandwich. The burger was fantastic. I don't think I've had anything. It's my favorite burger of the year, and it says a lot because I eat a lot of hamburgers. Um, least favorite place, Deanne. It's going to be a tie, I know it, for both yeah. of us. Go Shrimp ahead. Basket. Shrimp Basket in Florida, and that's been one of our bigger, most watched videos. That place was awful. We didn't even talk about it while we were eating it. We talked about it. It's a short video. Uh, the waitress didn't, wasn't very helpful or nice or anything. No. She, she didn't refill drinks or anything. No, it took, and it, from the time you ordered it, it, there wasn't many people there. It took but like for, an hour to uh, Well, no, probably 45 minutes to get the food. And when it got there, it was cold. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good. Mom and dad was with us. Dad ordered shrimp. It looked raw when he bit into it. It was terrible. I think it sort of made him sick a little bit. He, well, yeah, we, we did have to cancel a couple of, well, about 12 hours. We came back early. Deanne's allergies had kicked up down her and it doesn't show it in the videos because <laughs> she, she's a trooper and didn't want to look bad. She was I, sick bad. And and then the rest of us caught the allergies and it, we, we got tested for COVID and it wasn't that. We thought maybe it was. Um, favorite adventure thing, uh, surprise, well not, yeah was that swamp airboat ride. You know, mm -hmm. We didn't make notes on this, but that, that was just a ton of fun. Watch yeah. that video, it's great. The guy's very informative. Takes you all through the the, the bayou or whatever you call it down in Florida just swamps. The hour long one. The hour long video, yeah, right. It's it's very, very good. Um, hour long ride, I mean. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, other least favorite restaurant. And it has to be, It's the video hasn't come up yet at the time that we're shooting this, because we just ate there yesterday. 
We did the, I got the $5 bag at Wendy's and the strawberry frosty. She got the $4 bag and the strawberry frosty. Um, his, <clears throat> I'm well known to not like Wendy's. They, they need help. They need a lot of help. The hamburgers, they have no flavor. Uh, discussing it. it. I got the little double stack burger, which comes in that, that bag. It's one of the options. It's like a McDonald's McDouble, but they suck the flavor out of it. And it's just like, ew. Okay, McDonald's McDouble will smoke these things. And I'm not even bragging on McDonald's because I'd rather eat most other places. But McDonald's would whip Aunt Wendy's rear end all the way to the woodshed and back. <laughs> um, the strawberry frosty was okay. Nothing special, but it was okay. I'd rather have the chocolate one, and I say that in the video. Um, food reviews here in the house, Deanne. The, the, we've tried ice cream, sodas, teas, everything. What was your favorite review that you have participated in? <laughs> Probably the Pepsi one, I guess. Now, if y'all... Just some of the ice cream, I guess, a little bit. Yeah, go... <laughs> and most of you have. Because it's by far, as of, as of this taping, that Pepsi Coke soda shootout review that she did in Blind Taste Test has quickly become our number one video in less than five days. And we're talking about back over a year. Everybody's watching that, and we, we thank y'all for that. Please keep watching. Watch the rest of them, too. Yeah, if y'all have any suggestions on something we could try or reviews, let us know. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try about anything as long as we can afford it and have access to it. Um, my favorite review thing was the, what's it called? Private Selection. Private Selection Ice Cream from Kroger's. That was a surprise out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. We tried all these weird, crazy ice creams and did different things. We thought it was gonna be all, they were going to be it's awful, a, but it's a, it's no, they red wouldn't. ice cream. And it was better than about anything else that we've seen. Um... And I'll just to add to that, the other surprise was the Arizona tea, which we got just as a fluke because I read a thing on Facebook where this guy's not trying to screw people over and he's keeping his prices down. So we liked his product. We like his attitude. Uh, and the fact that he's trying to just be good for the, the you know economy in the country. So that was a surprise. It's not real tea. It doesn't taste like real tea. It's canned tea. So don't think it's, you know, whatever. <laughs> tea that you're used to. Uh, worst product review, Deanne, for you. There's that weird flavored ice cream. It was pizza was one of them, and macaroni and cheese was the other flavor. I don't know. I can't pronounce the, the brand's name. It starts with L. Lou. Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen. What, something. What, whatever. It's got a solid colored. I call it stoner ice cream because you got to be stoned to like this. But cheese <laughs> and macaroni ice cream, there's something really wrong with that. Pizza ice cream, there's something really wrong with it. I got some other ones I don't think I'm gonna try. We may or may not try that company again. Well, we're we're still discussing it. Every time we go to Walmart, we look <laughs> and go, yeah, because it's not um, cheap. Other than that, the one that I was most disappointed in, and I don't even know where we, we might have put this at the end of the Boonies Pizza review. So it was like a bonus. It was our first real review of a product. The Pepsi <clears throat> Pepsi Nitro. That's not good. And you watch her 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 video on the review, and it blindfolded. She picked that out. Went that's the nitro, and it was last. It's not. <laughs> it's flat tasting when you open the can. Yeah. Don't get that. I guess you're trying to make it more like beer, but I don't know. Yeah. Okay, and then the last thing we got to talk about, I guess, is the favorite thing that we've <laughs> we've cooked and eaten here. And I had a big list because I, I I like usually what I cook. That's why we, we make it. And I usually cook it again and again because we like it. But I did this on the fly. I went that Cajun place that she's her favorite and one of my favorites. Um, we, we got a video on that where I do a copycat the best I can of that chicken and that andouille sausage gravy. I really enjoyed making that. But in, as much as I liked it, making it, I love eating it. It, and I ain't saying it was like theirs, but I really enjoyed that meal. The other one would in our standing rib roast so far. I enjoyed making that video and, and what we got. Um, what about you? What You haven't made a lot, but you work with the jelly with the kids. Yeah. Uh, grandkids. Uh, but uh, Probably the enchilada, chip, the grilled chicken enchiladas. Because normally I would use baked chicken or fried chicken or whatever, and I decided to try the grilled, and it... Seemed to make it better. 
Grilled grilled food's always better. Mm -hmm. Unless you burn it or just screw it up. The grilled chicken is it, it really helped. So then the the music that we use yeah. is all been created by us. Yeah, um it's nothing that we've copied from anybody else. No. Uh what it is is uh for y'all that don't know, there's a program out there called Band in a Box that my dad has used for years in his video and uh, videos and his preaching and sermons and stuff. And pretty much what it is, you go in and you're programming everything. What style of music you want, the chords, the keys, the everything, the styles, the instruments, the uh Cat me out, thank God Ty come and got him. <laughs> thank you, Ty. <laughs> um, but uh, Deanne can create her own music that way. Now, that's not to say what we do when we're in our real studio, because we do our own music for our, our Christian band, still called Jacob's Vision. For a while, we had switched it to uh, Defender, and then we found out there's another band that had it, so we switched it back to a, man, you know, to a name we knew we had rights to. Um, but anyway, um, same name, just different members. <laughs> yeah. Some, some yeah. Members. I mean, members have changed. Um, my aunt and uncle left the band when I was a teenager and he watches this. So, Hey, <laughs> uh, but he still makes his own music and videos too. Um, and again, the main reason we're doing this, what we got started with was for my dad's video our videos for his preaching and if Deanne can figure out how she's going to leave <laughs> a link to his channel so you guys can get on there and subscribe to him and watch his preaching videos he's not real lengthy he's not real he's not boring like a lot of preachers it'll put you to sleep he keeps his stuff simple short he's not long-winded like I am uh, he gets to the point and then you're done okay he'll make his point he also does these wonderful little daily devotionals which he doesn't talk in but it's music and he's got his his verses and his point to make and and things like that please give him a like and watch and and subscribe to him because uh make sure to leave comments leave comments please we'd like to hear your comments anywhere anywhere thumbs up helps like and subscribe anything helps ideas we're, ideas we'll try anything we're, <laughs> we're trying to let this channel grow uh, and see what it could do and just how we could help somebody else reach somebody else anything we could do just having fun doing any of it <laughs> yeah well that was the, uh, the most fun video when we did the dancing video with the grandkids or i did <laughs> out in the yard dan was helping and everything from off yeah. camera but uh, i hope to do more of them when i can get when we can get them here and make that work <laughs> so anyway this has went way too long <laughs> which is a surprise with me rambling on <laughs> So anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. Doesn't cost y'all anything to like and subscribe. Uh, totally free. Totally free. It, even if we ever make money at it, it doesn't cost y'all anything, but that's still a long way off uh, from the way the, the numbers work. <clears throat> but anyway, for now, this is Brian and Deanne saying, uh, see y'all, love you, mean it. Right, see ya. <laughs>